Hi friends and fellow vintage and antique lovers. I'm back with part two of my Canton haul. Um, I was hoping to only have two videos, but as you can see, I've got quite a bit here and I'm, uh, I'm real tired today. You know, I had COVID back in December and my energy is just not what it was before then. Um, I have been working hard because like I said yesterday, everything, um, you know, from Canton came, came home dirty. So I've been working on that, but I, I did want to show you the pieces that I've inventoried and, and gotten ready for, for display or to show you guys. Um, I want to show these first. These are so unique. Um, this is a salt and pepper shaker set and they're both totems. And I found out that this company that makes them is actually in Washington State, uh, Totem Pottery, as you can see here. They were just so cool. They, they had to come home with me. I've, I've not seen anything like them. I also picked up yet another single shaker, and this guy's a monkey. Um, I picked him up because of how cute he is and the expression on his face. And he's a pepper. He kind of looks more chill like a salt, but who knows? I also picked up um, this chalkware poodle, and I have not actually tried to clean this guy yet. I'm not familiar with trying to, you know, try clean up a little bit of dirt on chalkware, and I definitely do not want to damage this guy. But other than the dirt, um, he, I'm going to call it a he, he's in really good shape. And I know there are a lot of poodle collectors out there, so I'm hoping that uh, somebody will see him and fall in love with him like I did. I also picked up this Anchor Hawking uh, bowl from the 1970s. It's avocado green. And the reason why I picked it up, well, I, I love the pattern. This is the Fairfield pattern, but I also like the handles, um, like the fact that it has two handles. I just thought it was neat um, from the 1970s. And this little guy is just a, a Japanese uh, figure. He uh, is playing cymbals, and I believe he's he's a Chin, he's or Shih Tzu. I I don't think he um, is a Pekingese because he's white, but who knows? Maybe he is. Um, his face got me. I mean, how can you not take this guy home? Anyway, I know there's some people that uh, specifically collect. Japanese uh, figurine, so I'm sure someone will love him too. I got this beautiful Tanala vase. I wish I was able to show it to you better, but um, I haven't measured it. It's pretty tall, and I do believe this is an older piece. Um, again, like I said in my video yesterday, um, I've just got to where I can kind of tell the difference. It is marked Mexico, but I did not see an actual artist's signature but even if it doesn't have a signature, I think it's stunning. And I know so many people collect it that they would love this too. I did find these little flocked squirrels. Uh, I did get two of them, and these are from um, the 1950s, I believe. Uh, they do have fur tails, it's, it's real fur, which kind of bothers me, but what can you do about that? Um, they're in really good shape considering I've seen a lot of flocked animals that uh, haven't survived <laughs> this long. So I was glad they did. They, you know, their whiskers are still intact and they're in pretty good shape. So all you squirrel lovers out there, let me know if you want those guys or one of them. Uh, I also picked up another Japanese figure and I just love the expression on this girl or guy's face, I'm not sure. Um, I thought the clothing was cute, and I just thought, you know, it's a cute figurine. So, this figurine came home too. I did find three pieces of dragonware. You know, normally when I see it, it's too pricey, like in an antique mall. So, I was really excited that I got a pretty good deal on this set. Um, it does come with sugar. Look at that dragon. The design is so cool. There is a little bit of gold coming off the top of it, but that's okay. I mean, that's normal due to age. And I got one teacup. There was actually only one. If there had been more than one, I, I definitely would have picked them up. 
and here is the saucer. I did find out recently that some Dragonware pieces, if you hold um, a flashlight or a black light to the bottom of it, you can sometimes see a geisha. These, I, I don't see one, but they're cool no matter what. I love the Moriage style, and I think these dragons just are special. They really are beautiful. I also found these two squirrel figurines. Um, they're Japanese as well, and I just thought they were cute. I just noticed there's a chip on that guy on his hand, but that's okay. Uh, the other one I think is, is perfect. Yeah, it looks like he is. No chips or scratches on this guy, um, but they were so cute. And they're friends, and they need to go to a happy home together. I also found these Pekingese dogs. Um, this is a salt and pepper set. Um, I don't believe they're marked. Oh, yes, they are. There's the Japan mark. It doesn't look like either one has their stopper. I forgot about that. But if anyone is interested in them, I can definitely provide some new stoppers for you. Okay, so I was very excited to find this Royal Hager uh, piece of pottery. This is the cat. Uh, and it normally comes with a fishbowl. I mean, obviously, it's a cat. It's a really pretty black cat. I'm trying to get in there as much as I can. It's too heavy for me to try to lift and... Uh, film at the same time. Um, like I said, it's missing the fishbowl, but it's such a cool piece uh, regardless, and I'm thinking about just going ahead and getting a fishbowl that will fit in there. Um, so if you're interested in that, let me know, and I'm, I'm happy to pick up a, a small fishbowl for you too. I fell in love with this piece of crackled glass. I believe this is mid-century as well. Um, you can actually see a little bit of the residue on the bottom. It, it's it's hand blown. Um, I love the colors and I love the size. I just thought it was stunning. I also found an Inesco squirrel figurine. Um, he has fur, but his is not real fur. Like the others, he's he's holding an acorn. He's a little bit taller than the other two. But I was so happy when I found him. I'd never actually seen the squirrel in person. So that was cool. I also picked up this little mouse. Um, another Japanese figure. She's obviously very scared about something. And she's holding her teddy bear. I just thought she was precious. I, I did know when I got her that there was a chip um, back here for her tail. So she'll likely just be mine. She can hang out with Zombie Kitty. They'd probably be really good friends. I found this guy. So this this pixie is really interesting. Um, it looks like she or he is on like a lily pad or a, a leaf, flower leaf maybe. And the man I bought him from couldn't remember where he got um, her from. He thought she was attached to something and actually went through the items he had looking for it and he couldn't figure it out. Um, there's a little bit of putty on the bottom. I don't know why, I mean, unless she was attached to something else or a child got a hold of her. But I think she was part um, of something bigger. But regardless, she's really cute and she wanted to come home to Dallas. This is one of the uh, favorite things I picked up out of this lot. Um, this is a red wear horse. I just love love the design. I love the coloring. I love the gold. And I like how there's some gold not on the mane. Uh, of course, we don't really know if that's intentional or not, but I think it was. I just thought he was precious. I, I used to have a horse, and I love them very much. So anytime I see a horse figurine, I get excited. Okay. This figurine had my husband and I laughing. Um, it appears to be a little girl smoking a pipe. Um, the seller I bought her from suggested maybe it was a musical instrument, but it looks like a pipe to us. It's kind of like she has a smoking jacket on, and uh, her cat 
and maybe judging her. It looks like the cat is, is covering its, its eyes, like it's not wanting to see the little girl smoking a pipe because, you know, that's, that's not good. That's not normal. But uh, she was so unique, she had to come home with us too. Okay, I picked up a Homeco fairy trinket box. And you know, I pick these up whenever I can. They're, they're just so cute and everyone loves fairies and pixies and mushrooms, but it, it's in great shape. Um, it looks like this is actually paint loss, but I think it's a manufacturing defect. I, it looks like some of the white paint from the fairy's pants got onto the top of the, of the lid. Um, but here's the lid. It's got the numbering on the back. I picked up this. And this is a sweet little skunk. I just love the expression on its face um, and the flowers. For some reason, I was thinking Lefton, but there's no marking on it, so I'm not sure, and I haven't researched it any further, but for some reason, this says Lefton to me, Lefton, Japan. I will find out, and if you're interested in that, I will definitely find out for you as soon as you let me know. This is a really unique picture. It has a lot of crazing. I don't know if it's just normal due to the age. I have not researched this yet either. Um, it has a beautiful bird handle. Let me see if I can get it. There we go. That's why I picked it up. I didn't notice any chips or cracks when I got it either. I'm sorry, it's hard to hold things in film. But I, I thought the pineapple motif was beautiful. And it is marked very faintly on the bottom, Japan. And I believe it just says made in Japan. Yeah, just made in Japan. So I will be doing some more research on this guy. I, I personally love crazing. I think it uh, tells a story. I think it means that this picture was loved and used, which is great. I also picked up this doll. Um, admittedly, I do not normally pick up dolls. But she was a really good deal, and other than her hat, <laughs> she seems to be in pretty good shape. You know, her eyes roll back and forth, which is kind of creepy. At least I think so, but other than that, she's in good shape. You know, she, her dress is doing okay. I'm wondering if she was a carnival prize or something like that. You know, she's not super high quality, but she's still cute. I also picked up another... 1970s anchor hawking piece. This is um, another amber Fairlane uh, bowl. You know, the green one was also Fairlane. I'm attracted to the design of Fairlane. I just think it's so pretty. And like I said before, I know a lot of people aren't into amber, but I am. And I am all year. I mean, it's obviously perfect for fall, but you can have amber out whenever you want in my opinion. I picked up a little golden book when I was there too. I was hoping to find more and maybe I was just in the wrong area. Uh, this is from 1977 and it has two actual band-aids inside. It's, it's in really good shape. Um, obviously the graphics are adorable. So I went ahead and picked that up too. Um, this was a swan. Um, one of the vendors that I really liked um, had some discounted items and this was one of them uh, for no reason other than she was just trying to uh, sell more items probably due to not having been open due to COVID but um, this is also a Japanese piece it's a little cherub or a baby riding a swan I don't know maybe it's the, a newborn baby the newborn babies don't have hair like that anyway I just thought it was really pretty and I like the gold detailing. Trying to get to the bottom. Yeah, it just says made in Japan. So there's that guy. And the last thing I have to show you is this fairy lamp. I'm trying to get everything out of the way. This is um, a Moser glass fairy lamp. The, the white top part is hand painted. It's just very pretty, very dainty. I like the pink details. But the really cool part is the bottom is carnival glass. 
it's kind of hard to see with this camera, um, but you can see the, the logo for Moser down here with the, the shape of Ohio, um, <laughs> Ohio State around it. I was going to see, I brought my flashlight so I could show you a little bit of the, the shine because I, I have never seen um, a fairy lamp like this. Yeah, it's kind of picking it up, but I will try to make a better video of it tomorrow because I have more um, items that I want to show in the dark, like the TV lamps I got, and I'll try to see if I can get it to shine a little better, but it is just beautiful. Let's see if I get back. Of course, the, uh, the tan um, blanket I have is not helping the pink come out. Let me see. There we go. It's a little bit better. Anyway, I thought this was one of a kind. I've not seen anything like it ever. And it's stunning. I know everyone loves fairy lamps, so that will definitely be up for sale either on Etsy or a future live sale. We'll just have to wait and see. But if anyone sees anything that they're interested in, in now, please let me know. And otherwise, just keep your eyes out uh, for Etsy. But I'm open, you know, if you want to send me a message and we can negotiate, we can work something out. I hope everybody has a wonderful rest of your Monday. Take care, everyone, and I'll be back with part three from Canton tomorrow. Bye-bye. <laughs>